How's it going everybody? I'm Jason with the Review Suite. In this video, we're taking a look at the Payunora, a carrier board for the Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4. The Payunora is a tiny development board for prototyping electronics. As a carrier board for the CM4, it's essentially a tiny version of the Raspberry Pi 4. So you can pretty much install any operating system that is supported on the Raspberry Pi 4. Now, when you look at the Payunora, it looks familiar because it shares the exact same form factor as an Arduino Uno. There's a lot packed into this tiny board, so let's get into it. There are two versions of the Payunora, the Pro and the Lite model. On the rear of the Pro model, you'll find a M.2B key and a full-size camera connector for supported Raspberry Pi cameras. And that's the only difference between the Pro and the Lite model. For I.O., there is a single HDMI port, a single USB Type-A port, and a USB Type-C port for power and data. Oh, and there's also an RGB LED between the HDMI and USB Type-A port. Right next to the Type-C port is a slide switch. With this switch, you could put the Payunora in either USB host mode or USB device mode. In host mode, you can connect USB peripherals like a keyboard or mouse directly to the Payunora via the USB Type-A port. In device mode, the USB switches to the Type-C port and you can connect the Payunora to a different computer. If you have a compute module with eMMC, you can use this feature to flash the operating system to that storage. Beside the USB switch, you'll find a Quick or Stemma QT port. This connector is super handy because you can connect I2C devices without a breadboard or soldering. At the bottom of the board, you'll find the SD card slot, a programmable button, power and activity LED, and an MPC 3008 analog to digital converter. Right below the HDMI port, you'll find the button that is used for USB boot. Setting up the Payunora is a straightforward process. Of course, you'll need a CM4. If you're using a light model CM4, you'll need some sort of storage media. I highly recommend going with the SD card. Yes, you can boot from an NVMe drive, but that requires your Raspberry Pi CM4 to have the latest bootloader. And that's a whole nother process I'm not gonna cover in this video. Now, of course, you'll need a USB Type-C power supply. Make sure you purchase a good one. I have my recommendations down in the description box. And finally, you'll probably want to pick up a heatsink for your CM4 because it does get a little toasty. If you want to get started right away with the Pi Unora, you want to install the custom image of Raspberry Pi OS. The custom image comes pre-installed with Adafruit Blinka and CircuitPython libraries. By default, Bluetooth is disabled, so if you want to re-enable it, you'll have to make some changes in the boot slash config.txt file. Beyond that, you're pretty much good to go to start using I2C devices. Here's a quick example. This is an AHT20 temperature and humidity sensor from Adafruit. With the Stemma QT cable, I can connect this directly into the Payunora. From there, I can load the demo code directly from Adafruit's website and get the temperature and humidity right here in my office. You can see the incoming data at the bottom, and if I cover the sensor with my hand, you'll start to notice a change. The temperature slightly goes up, but the humidity increases dramatically as I'm trapping moisture in the palm of my hand. Pretty cool stuff. The Payunora is a great board if you wanna learn about I2C devices or maker projects in general. It has so much potential to be whatever you want it to be. I for one would love to see this integrated into some sort of cyber deck project. But what are you waiting for? If you wanna pick one of these up, links will be in the description box. If you found this video helpful or informative, hit the like button. And if you wanna see more Raspberry Pi CM4 content, subscribe to the review suite. I'm Jason and I will see you in the next video.